G'day everyone, Con here from CW's Tech Reviews, back again with another quick video. This time I'm going to be installing Resurrection Remix ROM on the Galaxy S5. So it's going to be a quick, this is how you install it, and these are the main features. So let's just get straight into installing it. First thing I'm going to do is just boot straight into my recovery, which I can do. I'm currently running Lineage OS on this phone, so I can just go straight into recovery mode, just like so. Now, I've already got Twerp installed on this, so I don't have to go and root it or anything like that. Also, Resurrection ROM already comes pre-rooted, but I'll, we'll just go into install and have a quick look. There's Resurrection Remix, and there's my gaps, so I don't have to worry about wiping my device and having nothing to install, they're already there. I'm going to do a quick wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik system data and cache, swipe, back to home, that's completed, install, install resurrection remix, swipe, and it'll say down the bottom here, Done. Then I'll wipe Dalvik cache. Cache. You go back to home, press install. This time I'm going to be installing my gaps. Swipe to install. And we'll just let that run through for now. Now you'll just see it says done, so I'm just going to wipe Dalvik cache again. Wipe. Back to the home. Reboot, reboot system. You got your Resurrection Remix boot screen there, which is, looks pretty cool. Alrighty, then you've got your standard setup, as though you're setting up your Google phone. So we'll just whiz through that pretty quickly. Alright, so we're into the ROM itself, and I'm just going to quickly go through into the settings and go straight to Hang on, I'll just show you. Resurrection version 17 for the first 2017, Android 7.1.1. 5th of January security update. So as of filming of this, we're on the latest security update. Now, first thing I'm going to go to after that is your configurations. And this is where Resurrection Remix stands out from the crowd. So you've got your status bar, configurations. Clock, brand or logo, you can put a logo in there, see Resurrection Remix logo, custom logos, battery, so you can change your battery, I like Circus, Solid, there you go, that looks pretty cool, might just leave it like that. Battery percentage inside the icon, lots of different things you can do there. System icons, so you can enable all these. Weather, temperature, that's for your app on the front screen. So you've got all that, that's just to do with the status bar. Then you've got your panels, notification panel. You can uh, have a shade or shade color. Task manager, header, volume panel, power dialog. Your recent menu, general UI or your clear all button. Show clear all, bottom right, bottom left. So if I go here, there it is there, so I can clear everything just like that. So you can really see in your Resurrection Remix ROM, I mean that's just two options across that I've gone. You've got your Recents menu, Quick Settings, Lock Screen, so your Gestures, your Lock UI, Color Customization, Lock Screen Shortcuts, Weather Options, Security, your Gestures, Gesture Anywhere, App Circle Bar, Pie control, three finger gesture to take a screenshot, which I think is fantastic. That um, I believe comes from Oxygen OS. App circle bar, there you go. You can put all your apps in there, so that's pretty cool. That's all your shortcuts as well. Your buttons, 
Now buttons, there we go down the bottom. Now there are on-screen buttons instead of hardware buttons down the bottom. Oh, I know they're both on now, but it's an option. And that's what we want is options. Advanced restart on. So as you can see, there's just many, many different types of customizations with, with uh, Resurrection Remix. So you get your standard Android software. And then on top of that, you get your Resurrection Remix software, which is all these extra customizations. So if you ask me, you really can't go wrong with it. It's just incredible what they're offering us. That's too cool. I love that. I'm going to keep that on there forever. So you get all these extra options, which make the ROM super cool, super flexible. You can fully customize it and make it your own. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to make all the uh, status bars different colors. I'm going to set it up so it's mine, not anyone else's. I'm going to have a heap of fun with it, setting it all up, getting it ready, because this is going to be my daily driver for the next week or so. If you've got any questions about Resurrection Remix, hit me up below. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check ya.